it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a Swimsuit Saturday. I have done, I think this is my fifth Swimsuit Saturday. I will link the playlist down below or I'll link all the other videos. We've done several of them. So in this video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to do Lane Bryant. I've tried Lane Bryant swimsuits in the past. I'm pretty sure it was a copying the model video I did here on YouTube. Gosh, probably um, a year or more ago. So I'm familiar with Lane Bryant swimsuits, but I ordered a lot <laughs> this go round. And like I say in every video, I try to get a, a roundabout of different styles because I know not everyone likes the same style. So everything that you are about to see, I will link in the description box down below. With that being said, I do also understand that shopping right now is not something that a lot of people, including myself, can do or need to be doing. So I'm hoping that this video really just gives you a bit of a distraction from everything that's going on in the world and that you just enjoy swimsuits for however long this video is going to be. And that's that. So I haven't tried anything on. So my package came in and I opened it to make sure that everything was in here, but that's it. I haven't looked at anything. I haven't tried anything on. So it'll be a true first impression style. I'll try it on with you here for the first time ever. Why is my hair on that side so big? All right, that's it. Let's get into the swimsuits. All right, first one. Is it crooked? I can't tell. This is adorable. Don't mind. I tried a new um, fake tan product. Love the color. My application technique is a little bit off. The tag popped off of this one. So this one is in a size 20. I'll put on the screen the name of it, what size, and how much I paid for it. I love this right here. I think it's so pretty. Y'all know I love a good high neck swimsuit in theory looking at it, but I prefer also something normal or low cut so that I can get a bit of a tan. But this is very pretty. So I have a top similar to this. I'll put a picture on the screen what it looks like because I got it from Torrid and it matches pretty well, um, but I wear it all the time. So this one is a one piece, obviously. It was a little bit difficult to get up because it is very snug. It does have padding, but no underwire, but the padding goes from here all the way down to this line right here and to the sides right here. So that's really, really nice. I love the colors, absolutely love the pattern. Here's what it looks like from the back. It does have adjustable straps. This comes unhooked. That's how I was able to step into it. I like the high back. I think, in my opinion anyways, that's just the most flattering. I'm a little bit closer to the camera this time. My last video, I've had several people comment asking me to come a little bit closer so that you get a full view of the swimsuit. I love this. I think this is so pretty. You'd have a very weird tan line. But, okay, first one, first one is pretty good. I'm seeing this in the package next. So I'm gonna put this one on. All right, y'all, it's very tight. Up top, it does have padding, no underwire, but it's this like extra tank layer that you can pull in or let loose on the sides. So if you wanted it to be a dress, I think that you could. I love the pattern. Y'all know I'm into tropical print. So this is what it looks like as it came in the package. This was a little bit cinched on the sides. I think it's a little bit tight at the top, but I want to undo it and just see how much you can make it address if you want to. So here we go. Is that as far down as it'll go? Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, so you could actually make it a proper dress if you wanted to. Here's a look at the back. Again, it's a little bit snug, or maybe I just can't get it up all the way. But this is cute, right? The pattern and stuff. This one's also in the same size as the first one, and it's a little bit tight. I keep saying that. Okay, so we won't say it anymore. Um, but this one I really like. I love the thick straps. I love that it is a bit of a deep V. Granted, you know, it's 
a lot going on up there, but it is a swimsuit and I don't mind swimsuits being more low cut like this as long as you don't risk or I don't risk anything accidentally popping out, which <laughs> we did a double check. We're good to go. I really do appreciate to the option. So it's almost like you get two swimsuits in one if you wanted a dress. Tie these up on the side in a cute little bow or how it was when I first put it on. Cinched in and you've got a bit of a one piece, but with an overlay so that you do feel a little bit more comfortable. The underneath swimsuit is definitely tummy control. But I do like this. This black band here, I think is very flattering. Okay, let's pull out, did I get two? Oh, did I get two in the same pattern? Wow, Taryn, wow. I wanna open this because this one is in a size larger than what I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I opened that on camera. It's a jumpsuit. Oh my gosh. Let's put it on. Okay. I remember this now. This is the whole reason we got Elaine Bryant Hall. Someone on Instagram sent me a link to this jumpsuit saying how cute it was. And I was like, you know what? You're right. That's very cute. And then I started looking at swimsuits and here we are. So it does have a little clasp. This one's in a size 22, 24. By the way, it has pockets. Oh my gosh, that elastic band is pretty thick right there. How cute. It does have elastic all the way around. I like this. And it matches the swimsuit. I forgot I ordered this. Is this cute or what? <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I know that it was on sale. I think I probably could have sized down because I've got so much extra room in here that I could have sized down. This is so, I might keep this. This would be cute over a swimsuit like I'm wearing it now, <clears throat> excuse me, or styled as a cute summer outfit. Wear a pretty bralette underneath it so that you can see it peek out a little bit because these are spaghetti straps. And then it kind of takes care of the fact that it's a little bit baggy at the top with some sandals. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's do something that's, that's a little bit lighter. I see this. Is it a top and a bottom? I think it is. Hello, super high-waisted bottoms. Okay, I love the pattern. By the way, I think the pink and the floral is so pretty. I love the tie side with the bit of ruching, so you could shrink it if you didn't want it as high. This is just how it came in the package. The top is a little bit, I can't get it tied tight enough in the back. I'll show you in a second. So it's a little bit big. It's also very pointy. So these are molded cups that make you a little bit pointy. But at first glance, I really like it. In theory, I don't like the pointy, I don't think, and I don't think I like it this high-waisted. Again, you can change it if you want. All right, so here's a look at the back. You can see right here, you can tie it tighter. I just can't really, let's see if I can do it while y'all watch. <laughs> watch me struggle. Oh, okay. Huh. Anyway, so here we go with this one. I didn't tan my stomach. <laughs> so welcome to real life. Um, all right, so there's this one. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it. It's just not really my favorite is this. So this is a swimsuit. Is this a swimsuit? Yes. I was just checking to see if I ordered any other uh, cover-ups or anything. I have a one piece and a hot pink two piece. Ooh, let's do the two piece. I just pinched the crap out of myself trying to get everything into this swimsuit. Okay, it's a two piece, but it is a skirt. There is bottom, there are bottoms underneath it. It's low rise, my belly button is here and it starts here. Um, and the top is a tankini. You can, again, make the bottoms a little bit longer if you wanted. I love the hot pink color. I love the crochet detail. I love that it's a tankini, but it's not my favorite. I know I keep, that's what that is. 
Let me tuck that in. Ow, I just pinched myself again. Okay, I don't think that this one is for me. I love the hot pink. I'm into hot pinks, neons, and stuff for this season. Here's a look at the back. All right, let's put on the last one. This one would be perfect for someone else, I think. I thought, I don't know, if this was just the top and it wasn't a tankini with some high-waisted bottoms, I would probably like because I do like these kind of swimsuits. It does have molded, yeah, molded cups, no underwire. You can see it's a little bit crooked under there, but I like this bit, this fluffy, not fluffy, but I don't know, I like that, but I don't like anything else about it. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, the last swimsuit that I was going to put on would not go over my hips. I have to step into it. It is a one piece navy blue with a crochet overlay skirt. Um, but yes, you have to step into it and I couldn't get it past my hips, which is very strange because this is the same size as all the other ones. Um, so my favorite by far in this haul is the blue and white one. The first one that I tried on, I think was just so pretty with that bit of strappiness down the front. I will say everything was a little bit snug. I am a true size 20 at Lane Bryant. I just ordered a pair of jeans in a size 20 that fit perfect. So I would say to be safe, probably size up um, just so that you get things that you can wear because I do think everything was a little bit snug with the exception of the jumpsuit. I got that in a 22-24, but I could have sized down to my regular size in that. It's just iffy with me sometimes. My bottom, like if I buy shorts, I, I size up in shorts. I'll buy a 22, but jeans, I can typically go with a 20. I guess maybe shorts are just made a little bit smaller. Um, so with the jumpsuit, I sized up thinking that maybe that was the same deal. And in theory or in reality, I should have just gotten my normal size. So will I be keeping anything from this haul? What I've allowed myself is, since we're doing Swimsuit Saturday once a week, it becomes a lot to have a bunch of swimsuits just hanging out and I don't need them. I already own a lot of swimsuits. So I told myself I will only keep things that I absolutely love. So with that being said, I don't think I'm going to keep anything. I would have probably kept the jumpsuit if it was a size smaller. I wonder if I can exchange it because I know it was on super, like super sale when I purchased it. Um, so yeah, that's a wrap on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Again, everything is linked down below with the sizes that I tried in the video. Also, I haven't said this in a while. My measurements are linked, or not linked, they're listed down below. I think that can help a lot of y'all when you're purchasing. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.